Up next, my interview with best-selling author John Searles, whose latest novel, Her Last Affair, is now out in paperback. We chatted about the book, his childhood, and how reading changed his life. Spend some time with author John Searles and his adorable dog, Ruby, and you might wonder where his sinister plot lines come from. Yeah, people have said that before, that uh, I seem so bright and sunny. Well, I guess I get all the darkness out in my writing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, have, I like writing stories that have odd characters. His latest book, Her Last Affair, is no exception, and the creepy factor kicks in early with a shut-down drive-in movie theater. Her Last Affair is set primarily at an old abandoned drive-in movie theater, and it tells the story of the woman who ran it, Skyla Hull. She ran it for 50 years with her husband, and a few nights before their golden wedding anniversary, uh, he dies in a freak accident, or so we think, in the woods behind the drive-in. The book is kind of driven by these three characters, actually, yes. really, and their stories. And initially, as the reader, you don't fully understand the connection. I thought it would be a fun puzzle for the reader if at the beginning, for the first half of the book, it's three separate points of view, three separate narratives, and you're left wondering, how do these stories connect? And then when they come together, it really ratchets up into a novel of suspense. John has written four novels. One of them, Strange But True, was made into a movie by the same name. But he explains this latest book provided a necessary escape during a heartbreaking time, which began when his apartment was ravaged by a fire in the building. Fortunately, John and his husband weren't home, but the damage was extensive. And so I wrote a lot of this novel uh, late nights when I couldn't sleep and staying in a hotel room, staying in friends' spare bedrooms, staying where we could as we waited for our home to be rebuilt. And, um, and so a lot of it, I think, was this was this book, Writing Her Last Affair, was my escape from a lot of um, sadness. Because also, while I was writing, my father uh, passed away in a motorcycle accident, which was, oh my which gosh, was tragic. And, yeah, and so writing has always been an escape for me and a comfort ever since I was a little kid, because I always wanted to be a writer ever since I was a young child and it was always my escape and my mother has so many pictures and home movies of me I can show you one of me walking around the house with the pad just writing down it was like funny. yeah and so it was my it was my sense of kind of solace came during that hard time writing her last affair you talked a little bit about being a kid i read in an interview that you gave that you said you became a big reader because you would hide from bullies in the library i was not good at sports i weighed about two pounds i you could blow me over and i was immensely unpopular and the boys loved to pick on me and say horrible things about me and we lived near the town library so oftentimes I would go there after school and that's really where I would read and just the li I always joke librarians raised me I love librarians so much because I would just spend so much time there reading and you said also your father bought you books and you yes. were, when you would drive with him yes. is that right my dad was a cross country truck driver and in the summers my parents would send me trucking their stated mission was to quote make a man out of me and I always joke and say they didn't get the results they wanted but they didn't make a reader out of me because my dad very sweetly in the truck stops would buy me mass market paperbacks it was definitely a very colorful way to grow up and I'm grateful for my family and my childhood and and um you know we had many hard times growing up but it you know I'm just feel blessed to have the life I have now John says his next book is already underway and that so far, Ruby likes it, but she's not giving any hints. She might tell you. Yeah. You'll yeah. have to decipher the bar. I hear she can't keep a secret. <laughs> yeah. She's a gossip, that Ruby. <laughs> She's revealing the plot of the new book. Yes. <laughs>